flashback to last season. The 49ers were reeling at three and five when the Rams came to town on Monday night. Sound familiar? <laughs> Debo Samuel ran wild. 131 total yards and two touchdowns. San Francisco won six of their final eight games, including week 18 in L.A. to clinch a playoff spot. But their run ended at SoFi Stadium where they lost to the Rams in the NFC Championship. It's one that still stings safety Jimmy Ward. We don't like him. We're not friends. We're not cool. When we're on this field, it's about business. Right. It's about getting the job done. And when you mentioned the Rams, you know, they, they beat us in the, in the big game. You know, that was, you know, right to get uh, right before the big show. But and you know, like I said, they wanted to shake hands and do all that once they won. But when we beat them twice during the season, you know, they didn't want to shake hands. They, they walked screwed off. right off the field. Well, I like poor sports, but, you know, I get it. I understand. But. We get to see him twice every year, so that's the good thing. That's the beauty of the, of the sport. Ward remains out with a hamstring injury, so he'll have to wait to see the Rams. But the red and gold have another capable safety. Talanoa Hufunga has been all over the field through three games. I like to call this in the huddle with Hufunga. Talanoa Hufunga, hey, what do you think the big difference is, the jump from last year to this year for you? Uh, definitely just blessed with being around the guys I'm around, uh, the coaches, the staff. Uh, I just got to do my job each and every day on the field. My game is just reckless. I know I know. I kind of just throw my body in there, but uh, it's a calculated risk for sure. Yeah, no regard for your body. It's like there's it's like there's three of you out there. <laughs> try, to, try, to do my, try to do my best, <laughs> <laughs> for sure. How do you take it when, whether it's radio, TV, they're like, hey, that. That's another Troy Palomalo out there. I mean, how, how you like that comparison? Man, uh, he's he's the GOAT to me. So uh, very blessed just to be able to train with him in the offseason, get to learn from him. Uh, but he's he's hands down one of the best to ever do it. So I uh, just try to take bits and pieces of his game, bits and pieces of other people's game, try to put it into my own game. But, you know, when you hear those comparisons, like, it's undeniably he's the he's – the, it's all an honor to him because, you know, he's a, he's a great great athlete, great person and individual as well. So. Well, you can match him with the hairdo there. You just, you just need a little product to put in there. A little more product for sure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's peel back the onion a little bit when you were like a, a kid. Were you one of those guys that had so much energy? It was like, we got to put him in football. We, we, we got we to gotta match that energy there. <laughs> yeah, I had too much energy, I'll say. I think my parents did a good job. I think that's probably why my dad doesn't have any hair anymore because uh, I did have a lot of energy growing up. So, uh, But very blessed with the support I had. Trojan parent to former Trojan. What, what is it like to <laughs> like to, to, to run out on the field of the Coliseum? I mean, the, with with just the pageantry is just 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 a sea of, of, of Trojan nation essentially out there. Man, one of the best tunnels you can ever run out of. Uh, the Coliseum has so much history. <laughs> <laughs> now you, you you ain't been in the Coliseum tunnel, so he don't he don't know what he's talking about, but. Uh, just very blessed to, to be able to spend my three years there uh, and just the people that I've been around and the coaches and the community uh, learned a lot just being in L.A., um, but the history just runs deep. And so I'm just very grateful to get my degree uh, and just continue to, to pass it down. And the legends that were there just continue to pass it down to the, to the younger generation as well. So, By the way, for those that just wondered what was happening in the background, that was Dre Greenlaw that begged to differ with that. But that's okay. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> here's focusing on Monday Night Football. It's the Rams, and here's hoping that, uh, that, that you guys come out of that two and two. Much has been said about last year's beating here because that seemed to be a game that just kind of turned things around for you guys. You buying that? I just got to continue to work. I know anybody can. There's all 32 teams in the league. You know, can bring the best game. So we just gotta uh, continue to play our game, football, fast, physical, swarm around the ball, uh, and offensively, just gotta put the ball in the end zone and score. So, D'Amico Ryan's in the swarm attack, huh? Yes, sir. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hey, thanks so much for a few minutes, man. And hey, go get him on Monday night. Sounds great. Thank you so much. Appreciate all right. it.